I'm Thierry Nivelet from Facts in Cloud, and I would like to show you an application, which is a visual factor application, which has been uh, deployed in a desktop and in a web version using Facts in Cloud. This is now the folder where this application is. Uh, we have uh, forms, of course. We have programs, like always. And we have the executables that were generated. Here is the desktop version. Here is the production web version, and here is the production, the test web version. We always have uh, a test and a production version that we install in, in different sites. Let's start with the desktop version. We'll just start the executable. We uh, type in the login password, and then we get the form. This form is a typical fax perform with a grid where you can select an item, with drop downs where you can filter the, the list, and with um, uh, child forms that you can call from uh, the grid itself just by clicking the columns, like here too. And then you, we also have uh, checkboxes to have a direct action on the cursor, uh, on, the, on the view underneath uh, using those checkbox and whenever you use the checkbox you see that a note is generated here saying that uh, it's 12.59 now saying that we've done such and such action. We uh, There are many other features uh, like uh, PDF viewing that we can see maybe uh, no, we don't have many PDF actually in this uh, demo because it's very heavy. Uh, we have a save button. Uh, we have a cart to review the um, the invoices that we we need. Okay, now we are we're under development, and you know that we still have some uh, issues that we're going to fix. N never mind. Now we also can manage the users. We have this uh, user base in this application, and we can, as I'm an administrator, I can change the, uh, the user login, I can change the password, I can also uh, change the rights that this user has on the system, maybe like adding a new uh, carrier or whatever action I want to make. So it's a complete application. I can create a new user. I can cancel, etc., uh, etc. Et okay. I can skip also from one client to the an another. For instance, I can go to this big client. As you see, we don't have the, the pictures here, and I can move across uh, the pages because this client is pretty heavy, and it had it has many pages. And also, I can filter the invoices either whether they are open, void, pending, or paid. And as you see, we have a, a large volume for paid. We have 65,000 invoices that are going to come up. OK, here we are. And we can um, also review by audit mode to see the, the invoices by career. OK, and we can filter. OK. so. So it's a bit longer when you have many invoices, like 65,000, so it's a bit longer. So there's something typical on, on Visual Fax for applications. So the point I want to make now is to show you the same application working in web mode. This application has been adapted using Fax in Cloud uh, four or five years ago. It has been involved, continue, continuously evolving, and now we have uh, this version which is running, I'm going to take the, the latest. Uh, this one is from, uh, no, this one is not up to date. Uh, this one is um, more recent. Let's take this one. OK, so now the application has started. Oh, it's, it's starting now. OK. And we can now uh, go to localhost and say IP. And then we will see this application running. As maybe I can move this across and show you the same action again. And you can see that something happens here, which means that the request has been processed by the server. So now I can come up with the same form as you saw on the desktop version using the same credentials. You see that this login screen is very similar to what you saw in the desktop version. 
and now we're coming up with the same form except that we had some HTML CSS uh, JavaScript improvement to have a different look like for instance here we used to have plain rows and now we have a, a different view on the rows which are much more elegant you can see that the, the checkboxes here are much smarter than they used to be you remember that we have checked those two lines here and now they are they are coming up we can see maybe uh, no, we're in dense flight right now, so we need to get back to the other client we're working on, which was MWay SQL. Okay, and you can see here that we still have the same... Oops, which one was it? Uh, maybe this one? I think it was this one. No, it wasn't. So, which one was it? Uh, not sure I remember. We have modified an invoice. Um, I don't remember. Okay, never mind. So, but we still have the same ability to open forms, like here. We have the same ability to open this one here. This one, this other form, which is a GL coding form. And we can maybe reduce the amount here. And you see that dynamically, the form will be updated by whatever modification we've made. Okay, and we can also modify the users just the same way as we've done on the desktop version. We can take a user like this one and modify the rights. Oh, by the way, you can see that some, sometimes, okay, we can, we can give it more divisions, or we can cancel, or we can get back. You can see that sometimes, the, like here, you can see that you have some visual effects like this, and something you can decide whether you want an effect or not. You, can, you have control over all these features okay so now we are we are running in localhost and you can see here that we've made 44 requests on this application we're going to make another one maybe a 45th request by getting out oh we have a we have a message box so we're going to have a call back to say whether we have chosen yes or no and this will make another request on the system okay you have the callback coming here and then you you get back to this form and it's the number one request now in, on this form. Okay, so now what you want to see, I guess, it's to see the same application running on a real web server, not a localhost web server. And here we are. We are on foxingcloud.com, IP, index.ip, which means that here we are now on a remote server. I'm not sure it's exactly the same version as we, you saw because I don't know we, when we have made the update. But at least you will see uh, roughly the same data and roughly the same application. Okay, it's coming up. It must not be the same version because it's much lower. I guess we had we had an, an update in between. Okay, we're running on the largest client. Now we're going to go on a smaller client. Okay. Which is this one. And... Um, yeah, we definitely have uh, uh, an update because it's it's so slow. We we have made some improvement recently. So now we, I can I can check the okay I can check the check boxes and I can see that um, the messages are properly uh, generated by the system. I can maybe in email the invoice notes. And I'm gonna email them to myself uh, to Faxing Cloud and I'm gonna add uh, this is a test. Okay, and then I can send this email. Okay, it was it was successfully sent, and now it has just arrived. I don't know if you've he heard the sound, but I can I can get the message for you. It must be here, and here it is. I got the message, and the message is made by HTML, so it's a, it's a pretty nice message. This is a test message. Please disregard. So what I, what, I, what, I, what I want to see with you is that you really have all the features that you commonly have in your Foxport application, plus web features that you can decide upon. Okay, so this is a pretty a pretty nice. Okay, now we have I, I think now we have the the PDFs that are available on our server because it, uh, we have more capacity there. And then okay, I say I want a low pop-ups for Faxing Cloud, and then I want to activate 
Acrobat, and then I want to see the invoice. Okay, the invoice is here, and if I do it again, I will have another invoice like here. I will get it here, and I get the invoice nearly instantly. Okay, and this is only because I have a generated in I have a fixed invoice here, but also I can generate invoices like here. I'm going to generate dynamically an invoice for 448. Uh, a, a, rep a report for 448 invoices. Now it's finished and I get my report. It's a regular FAXPRO report, as you can see, and we have 18 pages that have been generated. Okay. So I, wa I just wanted to share with you that this is possible to have the same application, same code, running on a desktop, running on a web, with very similar user experience. But as you can see here, you can you can add some value for the web, like like sh like shading here, like uh, rounded corners, like different colors, like uh, anything you you want to make, you can do it using a standard uh, CSS and uh, JavaScript, of course, like on any web development platform. Okay, you can have message boxes. The, the height of the message box adapts to the content. You can have modal forms, you can have everything you need and you, uh, you usually have in your application the same on the web with additional web features that you can, you can, you can make w additional web features for whenever you like. Okay? Okay, uh, it was nice sharing this demo with you and I, and I hope uh, we will see you soon in, on, one of our, on, on our demos. Thank you.